out of the Melbourne Test. 99 runs from the bowling of McGill. Ah! He goes again, that's a chance up in the air. Colin Bill is under and he's dropped it. He has dropped it. That is a huge life for Brian Lara and the West Indies. Colin Miller hangs on to that. It's probably game over. But down it went. The fielders had almost gathered around him here. Colin Miller, eyes under it, still moving and still sees body and head moving. And that's the worst feeling in cricket. Brian Lara had almost started to walk off the wicket square. The crowd not happy. All their hair colours will change tomorrow. Oh, that's the over. Oh, 12 runs and a drop catch from that Stuart McGill over. Four for 149. Where do you find... Still 31 runs behind at the moment. There's the man who dropped him, Colin Miller. hope it wasn't some of that uh, blue dye that might have dripped down in his eyes when he dropped that one. You're talking about the Sydney wicket dying. Tell you what is dying, that's that hairstyle. It's very patchy, day four. Dead set, you'd swear those two hands were feet. Pop straight out. Brian Lara went really hard at the full toss. He was looking for his fourth four. Stuart McGill thought he had a victim. Oh, and our leading edge of Colin Miller's bowling. Well, can Colin Miller turn it round? Here's the drop catch again. Hands in front of the eyes. Seems to hit the hands all right, but just bobs straight out. That's a sickening feeling for any fieldsman. Oh, in. Running red. The hands may have been too far in front of the eyes. Brian Lara really going hard looking to get it across mid-wicket rather than down the ground the ball before but his feet were crossed midway through trying to catch the ball his head was still moving the hands probably got in front of the eyes and he couldn't grasp it at the right time nice Colin Miller well we saw Stuart McGill's reaction what a disappointment look at the crowd behind Look at this man, the white shirt here. Hands on the head, down goes the cap. Very unhappy with Colin Miller. He knows it was the big wicket. Adam Gilchrist was about five paces down the wicket.